Ladies and gentlemen, we get to find out if I fit in a C8 Corvette a heck of a lot earlier than I anticipated. Let's do it. What's going on guys, Matt over here, Lethal Garage. I am driving in my truck, trying to get off work, well I got off work, and I'm driving to Paradise Chevrolet. Why you may ask, why am I headed to Paradise Chevrolet? They have a C8 Corvette early, I guess GM, which is pretty cool. They're driving around, they're taking C8 Corvettes to dealerships all over the country and allowing people to check out the new car. Now, it's a Z, I think it's a Z51 model. I think it's gonna be blue, maybe red. I'm not entirely sure which model they have come into paradise, but we'll find out when we get there. But I am headed down right now before the actual revealing of it at paradise. It's gonna be at four o'clock. I'm headed down a little bit earlier to hopefully get video kind of before the whole thing kicks off. Uh, I'm told by the sales manager they have the car ready for me to come down and check out and do a quick video. So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna find out if I fit in it because they told me I could sit in it and all that stuff. So I'm gonna show you interior. We'll see if the they have the roof on. If not, I'll convince them to put it on for a quick second um, if they can, if they're willing. Because I wanna find out if I fit in this freaking car. I've never fit inside a Corvette. I just haven't. They've always been really small, not really designed for big people. And not only do I want to see if I fit, but I want to really just check out the car. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get there and do it. gentlemen we have made it we're at paradise we got here before the big reveal i guess you could say but it's a blue one they got it sitting here they got all the doors all the bells and whistles it's wide open it's it's definitely a corvette so at first sight you could really tell this has corvette lineage the front end almost looks like a c7 in many ways but it is unique kind of has that ferrari look to it the car itself is a lot bigger than the images make it look. Uh, see if we can get a better angle. So they do have a color match spoiler. Here's your LT2 brand new mid-engine Corvette motor. Completely redesigned LT1 for this car. Now the one thing to highlight is this car is carbon fiber, it's aluminum, and um, composite pieces all over so it's very lightweight we're told it's like 3,366 pounds something like that that being stated the motor looks super clean I would hate to have to work on this maybe changing the oil might be easy but outside of that uh, pretty straightforward now getting up close with the car you can see the rear vents here there's also a set of vents strafing the motor side on either side tail lights, the up close exhaust, the rear valance is actually a full screen uh, to let heat exhaust out the back. You'll see they do have a tow hook door, so most likely going to be tow hook capable. You have a rear backup camera, integrated tail light with the Corvette, again same on this side. As far as brakes go, you can see a front rear setup. They're really looking at the braking power, assuming how fast this car is going to go. Be interested to see what the higher tier models end up getting in the long run. Nice texture finish here on this back side. You can definitely see there's probably room for rock guards of some sort from GM. I'm sure they'll reveal them once they have the accessories. And another thing on the tail light, they did black out this corner here for a more clean look. You can see the vents here is functional radiator sitting right there and as far as the interior you can see the controls on the seat door seal plate both surround sound speakers all the push buttons window your door locks are down here your it actually looks like there's seat settings on both sides of the car that's a first so if you're you have the controlled seat setting memory controls on both sides passenger and driver and you can see the air vents here defrosters 
completely adjustable. All the greatness. So your handle sits right here on the door. Let's see if I can get up under there. Ah, that's bad. So it's a pretty wide handle. So here my pinky finger. That's how wide it is. Decent width. So the GT2 seats are in this specific model. You can see there's a cell phone holder there, an additional speaker, glass to see your beautiful motor. I wonder if there's like a mirror so you can really see it. <laughs> as far as the side mirror, you can see a blinker integrated into the mirror. Again, they do have this textured. I'm, I'm willing to bet they're gonna have mud guards and rock guards available, but a nice big Brembo style brake in the front with rotors. You can see the active cooling in the front as well up and through there so as far as the front end goes you can definitely hey, see yeah. yeah how's it going you can definitely see the large radiators left and right you definitely have cooling ducts coming from the front you can see the front two cameras and it'd be interesting if how the license plate's going to function here in california but I'm assuming that front Corvette cover will remove for a plate of some sort. But you can see the Z51 style front splitter on there. It looks super clean. And of course, they had to add these for pedestrian bump outs for some reason. I bet you the design team hated to have to add that. So as far as the headlight design, super clean look. I don't see any Easter eggs in this headlight. No Corvette logo or design. Maybe they're saving that for the larger models. A super clean look. The angles and everything on this, you can tell Tom Peterson's team definitely, definitely drove this one to the end. So now the actual test, do I fit? Ooh, this car's low. Well, okay, so a couple adjustments, obviously the steering wheel adjusts, the seat adjusts, but as far as fitment goes, that's close, that's really close. Now a lot of people are asking about the squared up style steering wheel. It's it's actually a clean design. I kind of want to put the camera down for a second. Okay, let's see. Better line of sight. A little better mm -hmm. leg room with that. Yeah. Plus so you have the, the competition nine and three positions are natural. Let's go down. So that goes back further. What's up, sir? So playing around the seats, this is about as low as it goes. The steering wheel feels really good. You got your buttons here, your paddle shift here, racing wise. As far as all of the design that clusters up, is there any way you guys are able to put in like accessory mode to see all the... I can't show you the gauges, but I okay. can show you the touch screen. Oh, that'd be cool. Sure. I'm gonna sort of reach in past No you. problem. So we can see this screen. It'll take a second to heat up, but yep, it's gonna turn on. So the big intuitive button bar, you can see your heated and cooled seats, your sink for the air, the front. So all the buttons that you want quickly are easily reachable. As far as I go, like at my elbow here is hitting the back, but you can still get the, I don't really care about these buttons. These look like they're for the passenger side. So driver's side, so that's actually pretty good. Give you a better idea what it looks like. There you go. So we have the screen here, so it's the typical GM interface. Yeah, any of the buttons if you want. So okay, so music, phone interface, navigation, nav, and this is OnStar, I'm assuming? Maybe? No, climate. Climate. There you go. And then the home button. So pretty straightforward. I mean, it's a nice screen. It looks really integrated. Definitely not at an odd angle uh, for me. And this is, so they do have the active rear camera on this. So I'm assuming the trunk camera that you saw is the active camera that you can see. And then your OnStar buttons are right up here up top. Homelink is integrated into your sun visor, which is actually a really cool touch. Good job there, GM. Um, outside of that, if you don't want to see your cup holders, it does close. And for those of you who don't know, here's your mode shifter and then your your drive, reverse, neutral, they're all literally lift up buttons. So they actually feel really nice. And then the mode shift is, is this a? Drive mode, touring, sport, winter. Oh, so it's turn. So yep, this turns, turns here, yep. left and right. Oh, that's really cool, and that if feels. your hand can get to the transmission, the touch screen, yep. and those control, the HVAC. It's, it's all right easy. there. Yep. That's actually pretty intuitive. They did put a lot of thought into that. 
Again, good job here, GM. They are gonna, so the top was off, but now they're gonna put the top back on to see if I fit in the car with the top on. And as you can see, I didn't wear my hat today, so I go full length on the hair. So you can see how easy the top just goes right on in. Sweet. It's super low. Yeah. I could probably wear a helmet in this car. So my my hair, I have more like two hand thickness weight. So I'll probably be able to fit in this car with a helmet. Yeah, it's good. I fit. Tall guys fit. Well, six foot five, 300 pounds fit in a C8 Corvette. The other side versus the C7, my knees were in the dashboard. I still have plenty of room with my legs. It feels comfortable. You can see here. And the steering wheel does adjust, so yeah. Good job, GM. Finally made a Corvette I fit in. You open it. So we get to see the frunk. So G I think they had like five, four or five different suitcases for this car that fits between the front and the back. Yeah, Bob, check it out. Groceries. It's deep. It's, your groceries. it's deep. You can fit beer in there. So I'm gonna attempt to get a walk around, but there's obviously a lot of people around the car, so. They have it. Top back off. Yeah, the one thing to highlight, there's even awesome stitching and design work even on the top of that. Looks super clean. You can see it fits nice. So we have the GT1 seat. Let's see. The seat, the GT2 seat, which obviously has deeper bolsters, looks like a lot more cushion in the bottom clean seat that's what's in this car here and then the competition sport seat which is the cloth setup which actually is still a very nice seat i would almost opt for this for the breathability but we'll have to see how the cooling and the venting works in these ones versus those but you can see the nice carbon fiber trim the nice detail to the stitching it looks really clean they did good here. The actual key fobs for the car. Get the carbon flash for the chrome. They have the leather wrap steering wheel, which is your typical leather wrap. It has the red stitching on the interior with a red stripe here. I'm assuming this is all customizable color wise. And then the micro suede, which is like the current ZL1 and the Z06. So it's just a suede Alcatara style but you can see all of the interior color options up here. Dry on red, Morello red, two-tone blue, sky color gray, jet black with gray stitching, jet black with red stitching, jet black with yellow stitching, and then what they're calling natural, which they're showing in the big version here. You can see all the stripe colors as well for the seat belts. As far as coloring, you can see all the different colors. Zeus bronze, black, Long Beach red, Arctic white, torch red, blade silver, ceramic matrix gray, Sebring orange, the accelerated yellow, shadow gray, and the Elkhart lake blue, and rapid blue. So the color we're seeing here today is the Elkhart. And then they do give you options for bright colors. Yellow kind of looks weird. <laughs> Edge red, black, and the bright red. Either way, the brakes on this car here are running the black setup. And then we have all the different wheel options. So, there's a black trident spoke. So Eric, tell us how you really feel about the C8 Corvette. I like it a lot. I fit in it. 
I, you know what I was gonna say that is they actually. And I made them put the top on to make sure I, you, they that I had thought head of clearance. us tall guys actually this time. I, of course. I think it's because they lost out on, you know, everybody over six feet by the C7 pretty much. So. I mean, you could make it work if you really wanted. Just one. take the top off all the time. Just right? driving no seats. Yeah, right? no seats or no top. You pick. I guess. <laughs> Alrighty then. So there you have it. That's the C8 Corvette. It is pretty legit. I like the car. I do. Will I ever get one? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna call this after hours because just thinking of things in my head as I'm driving away from the dealership. So one of the biggest things obviously going into this was do I fit height wise? How do I fit in the car? Um, my knees had plenty of clearance uh, from the dash, so that was a huge win. Um, I combed my hair instead of wearing a hat, so definitely still had headroom. Um, I'm assuming if I wore a helmet, I would be able to fit in that car. Now, keep in mind, as far as being tall, it's gonna depend if you're leg tall, you know, from like the waist down, your legs are extra long, or if your torso is tall. Now, I have a pretty long torso, so I've always had issues with headroom, but then my legs are also pretty decently sized, so um, knees hitting steering wheels or dash panels, like in the C7, like literally my knees were on the dashboard they were touching. Uh, and that was with their mid-tier seat. If I wanted to clear my knees, I would have to have their base of the base model seats to be able to do so. And even then it wasn't comfortable. So big kind of kudos again to GM for making a car that does have more leg space and more head space. Now, if you're six foot nine, are you gonna fit? I think it's gonna be a tight squeeze for you. Now, if you're six foot nine and most of your height is in your legs, you might run into the same issue of your legs being on the dash. As far as six foot nine and being torso tall, you have a couple inches of space. Um, but even then, it's it's like, I, don't, I think if you're six, seven might be the max that you're gonna fit in this car. Um, but as far as the looks, I will say, there is definitely Corvette lineage heritage, however you want to spin it in this car. It feels like and looks like a Corvette. Um, does it kind of look like a Ferrari? I'm gonna to have to say yeah, a little bit. Um, does it look completely like a Ferrari? No, it doesn't. It does look more like a Corvette than it does a Ferrari. And I think a lot of people can even take, take a step back and even say maybe Ferrari's taken some cues from Corvette over the years. So, uh, Police car. It's going to the going to the Paradise Chevrolet. No, um, it's an interesting car to say the least. Uh, it sits really low, like it is really low to the ground. Um, the one thing I will highlight is my elbow space here. Um, my elbow was hitting the back where your phone would be. If my phone was actually sitting in there, um, I would have even less room to move my arm back. But the cool thing is, is all the driver, like heated and cool seats, all that stuff is in that really slim button bar. It's up at the top, so I'm not having to put my arm all the way back. Um, while the interface for the, um, like, the navigation and all that stuff seems really clean and nice. Uh, the brightness was probably down. I'm sure that's probably adjustable on the screen, um, but it was pretty dim. And the other side was it's GM's interface. They're, I, I forget what they're calling it. The, oh my God, my mind is going crazy. They didn't mention it there, but it's their new software. They moved away from MyLink and they're running infotainment. I think it's 3.0. It might be, maybe in the Corvette it's four, but it seems very, basic. Now, maybe with Apple CarPlay and stuff like that, the interface completely changes and it's better. I don't know. Um, potentially there's ability to add apps and all that kind of stuff. That would make it a lot better as well. Um, but as far as look and feel, the car does feel super clean. I like the limited amount of buttons that are there. I really like that the duals are the uh, chairs. The seat memory is on the driver and passenger side. That's really cool. You don't see that very often in cars or maybe I just don't see them because I'm poverty car owner. Um, maybe it's available in the higher in uh, exotic cars. But as far as everyone's saying, obviously there's the online calculator and stuff, but in talking with the guys there, um, the car fully loaded with all the bits and pieces, you know, 
that was sitting there, Z51, 495 horsepower, 470 torque, and the LT2 configuration, it's like in the 75, 78,000 range, plus obviously tax license delivery, but um, which isn't bad. I mean, that puts you in the price range of a ZL11LE, um, actually maybe a little bit more than a ZL11LE, and a heck of a lot less than what the Z06 was, and the car performance-wise, launch-wise, zero to 60, is on par or pretty dang close to their high-end ZR1 from the C7 era. Now, does that mean it's gonna beat it around the track and all the other things and all the other benchmarks? Probably not. Keep in mind that this is this is the highest end, the 3LT Z51 model. Um, they still have probably a Z06. They probably have a ZR1. They probably have a couple other models coming in the years to come that are gonna blow these ones out of the water performance-wise probably blow away the c7 performance wise just because of the way those cars are and being a mid-engine you're just going to get so much better performance out of the car uh, with the way they're all set up so uh, obviously they didn't start the car up it's inside the building um, maybe i can go back later tonight i am going to go back and maybe i can get some video of it i'm going to try uh, but outside of that if i do succeed in getting some video i will post it after this so thanks for checking it out after hours chat uh, but yes yeah, c8 at paradise chevrolet thanks for letting me get in and record it a little bit early the gents at paradise and also the people uh, that chevy hired really nice people they all asked asked to be off camera so i respected that as much as i could um, but outside of that yes c8 corvette it looks pretty awesome i like it so that's all i got until next time see you